So you want to learn how to edit videos. Well, today is your lucky day. Today you're going to learn how to edit a video in Adobe Premiere in under 10 minutes. Let's go. Okay, lights, camera, and action. First and foremost, if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you can see more videos like this one. And if you're a returning subscriber, then hey, you're awesome. Today you're going to learn about everything you need to know when it comes to editing in Adobe Premiere. Now this tutorial is going to be for beginners, people who have never ever opened up Adobe Premiere and maybe never even opened up any type of editing software. So with that out the way, let's just jump right into this tutorial. Now when you're opening up Adobe Premiere, you are greeted with this lovely window here. You can create a new project, open a project. If you have projects that you've previously worked on, you'll see them down here. But in this instance, we're going to go ahead and create a new project. Once I click on new project, you will type the name of your project. Next, you'll choose the location for where you want your project saved. Save it to a place you'll remember that will help for organization. Down here, you have your general, scratches, and ingest settings. You really don't have to worry about any of those except for your scratch disk. This tells Adobe Premiere where all the rendered files are gonna save. Just make sure you have a lot of hard drive space. Over here, you have your rendering and playback. Don't worry too much about this. If you don't have this option, it's because you don't have a graphics card. What that means is you'll have Mercury playback engine software only. Everything else, we're not gonna worry about. Relax, take it easy. We're just gonna jump right into editing video. Now, if your window looks like this, we're gonna wanna change that so it looks a little different. Over here on the top, we're gonna click the effects tab. Once you click the effects tab, your windows will be formatted this way. If you don't have this area here, don't worry. Go up to window, workspaces, and click effects. Once you click effects, your windows should be set up so that they look like this. Look at us. We're editing together right now. Who would've thought? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and shift this over just a little bit. Let's talk about these windows. Over here, you have your source monitor. Now your source monitor is gonna be used to view the files that you drop into this area here. Over here, you have your preview monitor. This is gonna be previewing whatever you have on your timeline. That being said, over here, you have your timeline and over here, you have your audio meters. This will let you know if your audio is peaking by turning red or not. This little window here has your tools. And this over here is all of your effects. This is gonna be where you can add your transitions or Lumetri color for color grading. And bam, just like that, you now know what all these windows are for in Adobe Premiere. You know exactly what they do, kind of. Let's continue. Now we're gonna get videos inside of Adobe Premiere. To do that, you open up an Explorer window, select the videos you want in Adobe Premiere, drag them into this window here. Now once the videos are in your project window, you can double click one of the video files and that will throw it into your source window. I'm gonna explain why you wanna do that. So double click the video you wanna add into your timeline by throwing it into your source window. Do that, just double click that video file. Now as you can see, the video has me starting up here and then moving back and into position. I do not want this area going into my timeline, which will eventually be in my video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create in and out points. To create an in and out point in your source window, you're gonna to go to the area that you want your video to open up with. Let's just say I want it to start off here. I'm gonna press I on my keyboard, that creates the endpoint. And then let's just say I want the video to end here. I'm gonna press O. Now I just created an out point. So I for in, O for out. If you press space on your keyboard, you're able to preview the clip. Now I wanna add this video to my timeline. Click anywhere in this window, drag to your timeline. So now that the video's in my timeline, I wanna explain what's going on here. Your timeline is divided into two parts your video half, your audio half. Now let's just say that I wanted to just drag the video element and not the audio element. To do that, there's this little film strip here. You grab this video element and drag it to your timeline and now you just have video added onto your timeline without the audio. One step further, let's say you want to adjust the audio and not the video. You can grab this audio waveform, drag it to the audio section of your timeline and now you have audio without video. And you'll notice as I'm scrubbing through my timeline, it's showing up in my project monitor. So what about all this other stuff going on here? Those are your layers. Let's talk about that. So let's talk about this layers things for a second. Think of this desk as your timeline and these papers would be representative of layer one and this paper would be representative of layer two. Whatever's on layer two will cover whatever is on layer one because it is above it. Now, if layer two is an adjustment layer with color grading added onto it, then it will affect whatever is below it, which would be layer one. 
Now let's take this one step further. Let's say layer one is a sky layer and layer two is a cutout object of Superman. You can place Superman on top of that sky layer and it would look like Superman is flying. You can also keyframe him from side to side. That way it would look like Superman is flying in the sky because Superman doesn't have a background. The only background that he has is the layer below it, which would be the sky. So now that you know about layers, I'm gonna add an adjustment layer here onto layer two. To do that, I'm gonna click down here, adjustment layer, okay. And I'm gonna call this color grade. I'm gonna drop that adjustment layer on top of layer one. Now I'm gonna add a color grade to this layer. To do that, I'm gonna make sure this layer is selected, head on over to Lumetri Color, and then you can edit the color of the video. Or let's just say you wanted it to be black and white. Now it's black and white. I'm gonna add another clip onto this timeline. To do that, I'm gonna go ahead and double click one of my video files, create an in and an out point, drag the video and audio, and now I have two clips that are both being affected by this color grade layer. Let's say you wanted to add a transition to these clips so that it would dissolve in. Easy, head on over to effects, type in dissolve, click and drag cross dissolve, and now you have a cross dissolve that leads into the next clip. Let's say you wanna cut this clip up and insert another clip in here. You press C on your keyboard, which will open up your blade tool or cutting tool. Press V on your keyboard to go back to your arrow tool. Move this clip over and insert another clip and then move this over. Okay, so now you're done with your edit and you wanna turn this into a video file. All you do on your keyboard is click Control M now for format, you're going to want to choose H.264. And for output name, you're just going to have the file named accordingly. Once you're done with that, you click export. And the video is going to get saved into the folder that you have selected. Alternatively, you can click Q. That'll open up a separate window entirely. If I click play over here, it will begin to export my video file. The cool thing is while it's exporting in Q, I can continue working in Adobe Premiere. And now you know the basics when it comes to editing in Adobe Premiere. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. If you did, remember to hit that like button. If you know of any other tips that could help other editors out there, be sure to drop a comment below and let them know. And if you haven't yet, subscribe so you can see more videos like this one and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.